Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm happy to see you again. Thank you for watching my video. Today I will be making special Christmas acrylic pour and recently I received lots of questions and you were asking how do you mix your pouring medium, how do you mix your colors. So I decided I'm gonna show you everything from the beginning so you can do it too. So I'll be, firstly I'll be mixing my pouring medium and for my pouring medium I usually use PVA glue. Uh, and this time I'll be using this one from Arteza. I will put the link down in the description box for you if you'll be interested. And I usually mix 60% of pouring medium and 40% of water. So I will put 60 milliliters of this PVA glue and 40 milliliters of water in there. So let's, let's put it there. So that's, that's 60, I can't, I, if I say 60 milliliters of glue and then 40 milliliters of water, oops, that's a little bit more, never mind if it's like uh, 42, 43, that's okay. And then I mix it very well all together. That's very important to mix it all very well. Like this. That's nice. This is perfect as a pouring medium. And this is a cheaper way. You can also buy a ready-made pouring medium, but the effect is same in the end and it's more expensive if you buy just ready-made pouring medium but I know some people don't like using glue because sometimes it turns yellow but with these brands I've got good experience of course I don't know what will it do in hundred years but so far it didn't change color or, or it, it didn't I didn't have any problem with that so that's nice my pouring medium is, is ready and now I'm gonna this time I'm gonna use this Pearl Sapphire Blue and a little bit of Dalo Blue, which will be a base for my beautiful Christmas art. So let's put a little bit in there. I won't need too, too much. And a little bit of Dalo Blue because I want to make it a little bit darker. I'll be using this Cerulean Blue and then this Pearl Sapphire Blue. So this is, I've got probably like this, very small amount, I, as I said, I won't need much. And then I mix half part of pouring medium and half part of acrylic colors, like this. And then this might not be enough, but it's always better to pour less than more pouring medium because then you can't undo it so I mix it up like this and I already see that wasn't enough so I will need more pouring medium so at the end it will be like 30% of acrylic colors and 70% of pouring medium it needs to be more fluid like that I pour it in and mix it up very well yep that looks like good fluid mixture for my art it shouldn't be too thick and it also shouldn't be too thin which is sometimes hard to achieve but if you keep adding pouring medium then you'll get the right consistency so I've got my canvas here which is size I think 13 times 13 centimeters and I will also add two drops of silicone oil in each color one two there was three but it's okay one two 
two or three drops and mix it up a little bit not too much now I've got my white here there is no silicone in my white but I will put silicone later on firstly I will pour this white as a base here and I want to keep a little bit because white will be my swiping color now let's Let's move it everywhere. That's done, all covered with white. So now I can add also my silicone in my white. One, two. Mix it up. And here comes the fun part. I will pour my colors here and create a beautiful art so like this this is the dark one sapphire which should have some beautiful beautiful shine and then this is my cerulean blue which i'll pour like this nice okay i'm gonna pour my white on this edge and make a swipe i've got this piece of plastic and it works well as a swiping tool let's try Wow, look at these beautiful cells growing. That's very beautiful. I like that, that's what I hoped for. I've got this heat gun, cheap one from Lidl, and I'm gonna use it to create more cells. look at these beautiful cells let's let's move it down a little bit so these cells will stretch and create an interesting pattern now look at that it's beautiful that it will be perfect it will look like snow now I'm gonna let this dry and show you what to do next and I will also make more colors maybe purple and green and show you how that looks so hello welcome back my pores are dry and now it's time to turn them into beautiful christmas decorations as you can see my cells stretched a lot but it's okay because it will create a beautiful background for my christmas ball i already draw shape of christmas ball with pencil and now i'm gonna start with this acrylic marker this is called space black so it's just black and I will draw these outlines with my black color. Now you can see my Christmas ball. I'm gonna change this tip which is cool because I will draw bigger lines 
I will try to cover the space around my Christmas ball with black because it will create a beautiful dark 3D background. I just need to shake it a little bit. Now I will work on the shading and little details and for the top I want it to be beautiful and silver so I will use my oil based oil markers. They've got such beautiful shine so I will go for silver one. And these are the different ones. Before that I had black acrylic marker but this is oil marker and it has got beautiful shine so I just need to pump it like this and now I can work on the top part it will have beautiful silver color like a proper Christmas ball and I will work on the little details later on I just need to let this dry and I can work on shades and for shading I'll just use the black acrylic color I put my brush in water and put a little bit of that black on my brush which is size 12 blending brush and make nice shades around the whole bubble like this it will add that 3D effect. And also some reflections on my bubble, on my Christmas ball. So maybe here. And a little reflection here. Maybe that looks beautiful. Now I will also work on these edges to make them pop. So I will use my acrylic white acrylic marker and highlight these parts. And then I also have got my oil marker, sea green. I want to create nice borders. So let's. So that's my beautiful Christmas ball made out of acrylic pour. Now I'm gonna continue with the blue one and also purple one and show you the finished result.
And here's the result of my three special Christmas balls. I'm so in love with this effect. I think it creates such a beautiful 3D effect into your pores. And you can experiment however you want, create loads of different shapes, maybe star, tree, whatever you like. Well, I hope this video was inspirational for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would like to wish you all from the bottom of my heart good health, loads of love and beautiful Christmas time. And if you feel lonely, please don't hesitate to call somebody. Life is too short to wait for a call. Try to call your loved ones, your friends and talk to them. I promise it will make you feel better. Well, if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, create with me and show us your beautiful art. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you for your positivity. Bye.